This is Gail Sibley. I'm at the IAPS convention in Albuquerque and I'm with Stephanie Birdsell. Stephanie, you're so well known for your beautiful still lifes. Would you like to share with us um, some of the things you think about when you're setting up a still life, what, you're, what you look for? I'd be happy to, Gail. First of all, I work with natural light. I have a north-facing window, so I have soft light coming in all the time and many of my still lifes have a soft feeling. I like to feel like they are emerging from the paper. And what I look for is actually the fall of the light through the still life, so it creates a pattern that moves your eye through. And in doing that, it creates soft edges, which your eyes can flow over, and then a hard edge, which stops you. I like to feel that I'm going to keep my viewer inside the picture plane. So I want them to stop and look, and I want them to feel like they can either pick up an apple or smell my peonies. So for me, it's really all about the light. The other thing I've done is I do have an artificial LED light that I set about six feet away from my still life and my paper. And what I've done is I have tuned it to the light that's coming through my window. So I adjust the warm and cool to the point that when I have it on, the color of my objects doesn't change. So I feel like if I want to work with an artificial light, I always start with the natural light, but if I want to work in artificial, then I'm not changing the color. And again, I think there's a melody and a rhythm to the light, and I use that to direct your eye through the still light. That is so great. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Gail.